This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the Nissan Innovation Garage. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is the show where you could ask me, John Rettinger, any question you've got from the wine world of technology. Not sure if that fancy new iPhone 5 is going to be right for you. Not sure if you should look at a Galaxy S3 or a Galaxy Note 2. Don't know what tablet to make in this crazy tablet world. This is the show where you can ask. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. This week we're going to talk about the next Nexus device, the next rumored Android operating system, Windows Phone 8, the Galaxy Note 2. Say what you will about Android, but they've been very good about updating their operating system uh, about every six months, usually with new hardware. And that's what our first user wants to talk about. User RedGeek97 asks, John, do you think there's a new version of Android that'll be released along with the new Nexus phone this year, even though Jelly Bean was recently released? That's a great question. Yes, I absolutely think we are going to see a new Nexus device as well as a new Android operating system before the year is out. I know we're all the way in the middle of September, but hear me out. So the latest Nexus device that we've got right now is a Galaxy Nexus, a very nicely specced dual core phone. It's actually one of my favorite Android phones out now, but it's no longer the flagship Android phone. Quad core is here, quad core LTE is coming. So I do think we are going to see some version of that hardware get updated relatively soon. I wouldn't be surprised actually to see new hardware come sometime in the November timeframe. What might not come with it though, is then maybe a new version of the next Android operating system. That might come a little while later since we just got Jelly Bean. If you're looking to get a new phone, you might want to wait until December timeframe, especially if you want to get one for a gift or pick one up for yourself. Hopefully that helped answer your question. So there are a ton of hot new phones coming out over the next few months. We've got the iPhone 5, we've got the Lumia 920, and we've got the Galaxy Note 2. Windows Phone 8 though is only going to be launching on Windows Phone capable devices and the Lumia 920 is the flagship. And our next user wants to talk about Windows Phone 8. User Corian asks, hi John, I'd really like to know what you think about Windows Phone 8 and the Nokia Lumia 920. So I generally try and reserve my reservations on phones, actually get a chance to hold them, play with them, use them, experience all their phone apps. Action. But I will say this, Lumia 920 looks so hot and I want it. I love Windows Phone. I've been a huge fan of Windows Phone since the original version. I love the Lumia 900. I even like the Lumia 800. I'm really happy to see Windows Phone take full advantage of multi-cores, be able to use a little bit more RAM, bigger screen size, external storage, not to mention resizable tiles and all kinds of cool live tile things you can do with the no longer called Metro UI operating system. I'm actually now calling it Modern UI. So yeah, I am really excited about the Lumia 920. I hope that you guys are too. Hopefully that helped answer your question. So I want to take a few minutes to thank our friends at the Nissan Innovation Garage. Some of the world's best ideas happen in garages, music, computers, electric cars, the list goes on. Well, Nissan created their own virtual garage to help you bring your ideas to life. It's called Nissan's Innovation Garage and submitting your ideas is super easy. Go to NissanInnovationGarage.com. Your ideas don't have to be limited to cars, you're only limited by your imagination. So if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that I actually am very big into cars and I'm big into electric cars. One of the problems with electric cars, you forget to charge them uh, or the charging takes a long time. What I would like to put in my garage is I would love to have inductive wireless charging with my electric car. Pull it in, get a quick charge, be able to charge 80% up in 30 minutes without plugging anything in. That would be awesome. All I gotta do is pull into my fancy new garage, wirelessly charge my car, and I will be good to go. That'd be one killer feature that I'd wanna have. What do you guys wanna have in your innovation garage? So I loved the original Galaxy Note. It's probably one of my favorite phone, one of my top three favorite phones of the past year. 5.3 inch gigantic screen, S Pen action. It was rocking at the time, the latest version of Android. I absolutely loved that phone, but the sequel is here. The Galaxy Note 2 is coming presumably to every single US carrier as well as an international unlocked version, bringing with it ice cream sandwich, quad core, LTE, fancy new updated um, S Pen, and Jelly Bean on board. I cannot wait 
for the Galaxy Note 2. And that's what our next user wants to talk about. User Matthew Benjamin asks, when do you think the Galaxy Note 2 will come to the US? How many weeks or months? This is the phone that I am most excited about out of any phones coming out, iPhones, Lumia included. I think we're gonna see the international version hit in October and the US carrier versions hit end of October, early November. They need to hit before the big shopping season, which traditionally starts around Thanksgiving time. If you're not in the US, then second, third-ish week of November. So if you're debating about what phone to get, you're not sure if you want an iPhone or if you want Android, wait. Just because pre-orders for the iPhone are available or the iPhone shipping by the time you watch this, you wanna make sure you're getting the right phone for the next two years. You might want a comparison shop on which phone is gonna be right for you. Hopefully that helped answer your question. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger, and I will see you very soon. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. Bye-bye. <laughs>